Hey guys, Homeless Sock Puppet. Today we're going to explore more internet weirdos. Right now we got Kendall Gray, as I like to call him, Cousin Kisser Prime. We're going to see how he plays with some of his toys here. Something tells me those are his relatives that he's probably going to get caught and said trapped, but I don't know, that's just me. These people obviously are not trespassers. This guy has a reflective belt on that you get issued from the military. Are you serious? He got that from army surplus and wanted to stay safe, dude. And plus, if you put this right here, that's such a high traffic area, all you're going to end up doing is catch some poor EMS dude rushing to try and save your life. But alas, he's going to get caught in your stupid trap. Dang, looking at Cousin Kisser Prime try and balance is restoring my faith in myself completely. This guy has zero coordination. How fools like this come across so much money, I don't know, but I'll admit, I'm jealous. Oh my god, we heard a 2x4, not a real human being. That's not cool at all. Alright guys, let me show you this path that all my friends, family, and future EMS workers are going to walk down. Right through there, and I'm pretty sure he takes a step here, and steps right Is this dude wearing Crocs? If that's not branding, I don't know what it is. Honestly, it's not as noticeable as you Honestly, it's not as noticeable as you'd think with 15 leaves placed on it. It's not really covered nor concealed, but my uncle Bochamp, who couldn't get through basic training, told me that this would suffice. Unfortunately, it is actually illegal to set booby traps for humans. You don't say. Making this technically illegal. So unfortunately, we're not actually going to be able to leave this trap. Yeah, guys, just a little bit of cousin kiss and clickbait. How about the $5 Walmart machete? We're going to see how good it actually Oh no, another toy this guy has? He shouldn't be playing with this. Looking straight up at it, this thing is an 18-inch blade, but it's also... Looking straight up at it, it's most certainly a knife. Honestly, it's a pretty good size machete. The blade's a little flimsy, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Machetes are actually supposed to be flimsy. It helps the blade cut through thick brush, which is exactly what a machete's for. Handle is full tang, but it is just plastic with three random rivets. It's not the most comfortable, but I can still do some damage with it. Yeah, it's a blade. You do damage with blades. It's what they do. Basically, I'm just cutting stuff down that I could cut down with the force of my foot, but I'm using this blade anyway. Look at me. I could practically be in the Amazon right now, cousin. Come and kiss me. The blade's actually pretty sharp right out of the box. Like... Yeah, imagine that. A blade being sharp. It will cut you, Kisser. Now I'm gonna hit this thing. Now I'm gonna hit this thing right here that I could probably kick with my foot if I tried real hard. Wow, what a huge tree. Something tells me he'd need like 99 more machetes to cut through that, guys. Alright, pretty clean cut. Clean cut. Alright, what about something bigger? What about something like this? What about something bigger, guys? What about something the machete could be actually designed for, guys? Let's take a look. Right. Imagine that. A machete does a machete job. I made it about halfway through. He made it about halfway through in the first strike, and this is going to take him another 99. Okay, I gotta freeze frame that. That guy right there. Just look at, just look at this, just look, just look at this star citizen. Watch this tree fall. Is this guy related to Shane Gillis? Did this guy get popular on YouTube because of the family referral program? I mean, just look at this guy. Let's step it up to something bigger. What about this tree that fell on the road? Oh my god, guys. What about something that's probably a little bit too big for the machete? Look at this guy's form, and look at the way his neck's protruding out. What is this posture? Dude, put your back into it. Actually try. It did get it done. Yeah, yeah it did get it done. Eventually, like everything else will. That is, this thing dulls up actually really quick. Wow, guys, imagine that chopping things with a blade dulls the blade. I can't believe it. Not sharp at all anymore. Down here's still a little sharp. Overall, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. I'd put this guy's face at a pig out of 10. I'd put his posture a bird flu out of 10, but he does get an 11 for enthusiasm. Finally putting down the Fortnite controller to be filmed by the men at the farm must be incredibly thrilling for this young guy. 